Hello and welcome back to Bug Realms. In today's video we're going to be unboxing a mystery box from Unseen Universe. Now for those that don't know Unseen Universe, they are mantis specialists and breeders and I'm really excited to get this open. So while I open this, I'll explain how I got it. So I actually won this as a bonus prize from the Invertebrarians 1000 subscriber giveaway. So big congratulations to the Invertebrarian for hitting his 1000 subs. There will be a link to his channel in my description below. Please, please go and check him out. Now, in regards to Unseen Universe, I've never ordered from them myself before, but I have spoke to the owner on a few occasions, and I can say, if nothing else, they have fantastic customer service. Um, he talked me through some bits, wanted to make sure what level I was with Keeping Mantis, um, to make sure I received something suitable for myself. He also wanted to know if I wanted to receive housing, which I already had, so there was no need for that and he was just an absolute delight to deal with. So, box is open nice and easy. As I said, it's a mystery box. I have no idea what's in here, except the fact that it is going to be Mantis. Let's have a look. Bit of bubble wrap top. Um, heat pack, still warm. Ah, here's the card. So, Unseen Universe. And then you've got the website here, theprayingmantis.co.uk. As I said, link will be in my description below. So please go and check out these guys if you are into Mantis. So I've received a note here, I'll just read that. Sam, congratulations on winning the £25 mystery box. Oh, it says your box contains. I'm not actually going to read this till after. So what I can say is one, two, three, four, five, six different things in here. I've literally covered what they are and just read the letter of the genus name so that I know how many are in there. Six on a £25 mystery box. That's pretty impressive. So we've got usual packing bits and bobs. Oh, there we go. So, straight off the bat, I have an orchid mantis. So this is something that I've wanted to keep for a long, long time. I've always been a little bit afraid to keep one, but I know with the support from Unseen Universe and any questions I have, I'm sure I'll be able to raise this guy or girl well. They are absolutely stunning. They've come in, nice little solid tubs, plenty of fruit flies in there to keep it going. So we have an orchid. Next, we've got the C. elongata, which is the Indian flower mantis. Now I was actually recommended by John from the Nerd Room um, that flower mantis are pretty cool to start off with. I'm pretty sure they stay fairly small, but they're really, really cool looking, really, really pretty. So really happy with that as well. So next we have the H Orientale, Orientalis, if I pronounced that right, which I've actually just had to look on the sheet, is known as the Cat Mantis. Now, I'm sorry I don't remember your name if you're watching my channel. There is a gentleman that messages me um, quite often about trying to get hold of these Cat Mantis. So if you're watching, send me another message or go and check out Unseen Universe. This is a species I've never kept and I know pretty much nothing about. So I'm going to have to do my research uh, and get hold of those guys on how to keep it. And it's a good size as well. You can tell how they get their name. Their kind of eyes spike up, sort of like uh, cat ears in a way. Really, really cool. Moving on to the next layer now. Let's just make a mess of the house. Why not? So next we've got... Uh, S. femoralis. Now these tend to stick to the standard green colours. Again, John from Nerdream, who I mentioned before, he did a video at the start of February of one of these feeding. So I'm going to go back and look at that video and see exactly how they look when they're rolled. I'm pretty sure they stick to their standard greens. So another awesome mantis there. And we've got two more to go through. Okay, awesome. Next we have, I can't pronounce this, P. guinensis. Guinine, Guinine, I don't know. Names on the screen anyway, which is, I've just had to double check this, this is the Mega Mantis. So these, I've just had a quick look. Um, I've looked into these before. I have actually wanted to own these before. Um, whether this is correct or not online says that they can get to about 5.5 inches, which is pretty impressive size, hence the name Mega Mantis. And last but not least, the P. Walbergi, if I pronounced that correctly, I don't know, which is the spiny flower mantis. And I love these. So they've got that 
that's still that pretty look like your general flower mantis, but they have all those little tiny spines all over their body going down the abdomen. So again, a massive thank you to the Invertebrarian for allowing me this chance to win this amazing mystery box. And a big thanks to Mitch, who runs Unseen Universe. He has a YouTube page as well as his website. Don't forget to check it out. This was a fantastic mystery box all round. I've got some things I've been after for a while, the Orchid, the Mega Mantis. I was after trying to get into some Flower Mantis as well. And then there was even more put on top of that. Uh, they've been presented perfectly in these little tubs. I just think they're absolutely amazing. So now it's research, research, research. Find out exactly how to keep each of these guys or girls. And we'll just take it from there. Look forward to a future video where we've got these set up and when they're a little bit bigger and a bit easier to film on the camera. Thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye bye.